My dear friend Hani and I are visiting the first German art journal festival here in Vienna, Austria, where I went through a mind-blowing artistic transformation. So this is our main train station and I'm on my way to pick up Hani, who came with a train from Germany. So it's that last train you see on that list. And I'm so happy that Hani forwarded me this invitation and asked me if I would go with her because I don't think I would have actually gone on my own. And here she is. <laughs> Hello, Hani. <laughs> So here we are already in the studio, which was prepared so nicely for us. We were at first 19 participants and later on we were 21. Here you can see all the goodies that they prepared for us. That bag was full with sponsored gifts and you can watch me unpack that in a little bit. And yeah, they had the flyer, they had the program and everything they did such a good job it was such a beautiful atmosphere there in that art studio so this was my spot and here I am showing you all the things we got so those were stickers then here's just some information about the art journal festival then we each got a different vintage book I actually gave mine away because I have too many already then there was this page with German quotes and we each got a personalized mug with our name on it. So mine says 49 dragonflies and a name tag and a signed tag saying uh, it's nice that you're here or we're happy that you're here and this cute wooden heart. And then we got a whole bunch of different papers to play with. Some of them are really beautiful, expensive papers. Some are cheap papers, like packaging papers. And my favorite was some deli paper, which just felt absolutely amazing. And that's something we don't get like that here at all. So now I'm showing you all the things that were in the bag. And I will list all of these sponsors in the description box below in case you're interested. Those were from some German affirmation cards. Actually, they were also English ones there as well. So that's a jelly print. Then there was a stencil from Stencil Girl. And there was this pink notebook, which I actually gifted to one of the other participants. This is a beautiful Leuchtturm sketch pad which you will see me using in a bit. And then there was an, another like booklet with some white paper and another booklet with this gray cover. I actually think I have one of those already and I really like them. And then we got two tubes of acrylic paint and a bottle of Amsterdam acrylic ink, which was really awesome. Then we got a glue stick. These are the ones that smell like marzipan and some markers some paint markers, some water soluble woody pencils and yeah, a whole bunch of other pens and pencils and stuff. So really, really cool. Quite overwhelming actually. And I started out with jelly plate printing because I just decided that I wanted to try the jelly plate and I just wanted to have fun and get messy. And so I just, uh, yeah, played with some colors. There were a lot of acrylic paints there that we could just try and a lot of other medias that we could try, which was super fun. We were just supposed to start with whatever we wanted to and Tani and I both dove right into the jelly plate printing. Yeah, not all of them are great as you can see, but I did have a lot of fun. So these were all made with the stencil that we got from Stencil Girl. We all got different stencils, which of course was great because of course we traded them. This is bubble wrap. And I really like this one and the black one, which I did with some twine that I just had on the jelly plate. And this is Honey's first work that she did in that sketchbook. Really loved those colors. And then I started working in a vintage journal that I have from my friend Maureen. Thank you again, sweetie. 
and I had a plan to start with a vintage collage and I really wanted to stay true to my vintage style which went horribly south as you will find out a little later. Here I was trying to sketch a flower which was similar to one that I had on a napkin and then I'm going to cut that out and uh, glue that onto her head and I hate how those splatters came out they are much too small and they look too random and yeah totally not happy with those I thought I would share my first impressions with you after the first half day of the festival and while I talk about it I thought I would just take you along making some backgrounds here. So one of the sponsored gifts that we received was this um, Leuchtturm notebook and we're supposed to take this or actually any other notebook we want to a museum this morning which is called the Weltmuseum which translates into the World Museum and I know there is an exhibition currently of various Korean artists I'm very much looking forward to that I've seen one or two photos of some of the artwork online and it seems to be modern Korean so I'm super excited about that and we're supposed to make sketches so I thought I cannot take an empty sketchbook because then I don't know what I'm going to be doing with those sketches if I manage to do anything that I like which is very questionable then I will probably want to add it to my journal and I won't like adding it if it's on a plain bright white paper so I thought I would just make a few neutral backgrounds I woke up at four in the morning because of course after a new experience like this your brain is just on kind of like overdrive so I got up at four and I started <laughs> making these backgrounds and yeah, so I thought I'd just continue and uh, talk a little bit about my first impressions. Yeah, this is where I am now. So the thing was, I didn't really know what to expect going into this because, you know, the name Art Journal Festival, it wasn't clear to me from that name what this is going to be. And... I don't know what I was expecting, but I think I was expecting a little more inspiration from the organizers, from Christine and Michelle. But that is, of course, my own fault because they never claimed that they would give a lot of instructions. It was clear. Oh, gosh, all this stuff is coming off my brain. From the program, it was always clear that there would never be any instruction or anything. But I always thought, well, there has to be something else. <laughs> but... The truth is that this is actually more like a convention, I think, like you would know from North America. So basically you're just getting together and they're providing the space and they are providing some help if you get stuck. And we're sharing materials. So everybody brought some paper, some collage fodder. And basically you're just thrown in there and you do what you what you whatever you want to do and they were saying like even if you just want to cut out things from magazines for four days that is fine too i don't know i was there and i was kind of overwhelmed with everything because we got i mean you saw the footage of all the things we received that were sponsored that was amazing and this paint has pretty much dried up <laughs> trying to get some last bits out of it yeah so i just started with the jelly plate printing because i thought you know i can kind of like jump in with that because i know a little bit of what to do there because i was overwhelmed with the papers and everything that we got so i thought okay let's do some jelly plate printing <laughs> and that was fun because the stencils we had were really fun i have no idea what i'm doing here the personalized mug is a really cute touch all the gifts of course are great and it's great we have a box maybe i can film that this afternoon when we get back to the studio there's a box or two boxes actually where everybody was supposed to put in the collage fodder that we received or the, not that we received that we brought so that's interesting to you know work with things from others 
and I'm so glad that Honey is there because Honey has a very similar color scheme to mine. So that's just perfect because a lot of the other things are bright and colorful and that's not my thing. You know, I tried going there with the mindset that I want to get out of my comfort zone, do things I wouldn't normally do at home, but I just don't enjoy the bright colors. So there's no point in it. Okay, I'm just going to dry this quickly. This needs more white. So we started off the first afternoon with a fun introductory round, not like where you go around the room and everybody says their name and their expectations. One of the participants is a teacher. And so she has some great techniques on how to make these kind of things fun. So yeah, so there was a fun way to do that. And then Christine, who is one of the two organizers, made a quick introductory about what actually is art journaling. And then basically we were just told to start. <laughs> it's so fun to be together for a few days with like-minded people. Some have already like put together a whole journal in one afternoon. And I, I was just very impressed by that. <laughs> The journal that you saw me working in there was one that I had received from Sweet Maureen. Thank you again, sweetie. I was so happy to have that because I think making a journal there and then also having time to work in it would have been a bit too much for me. So I was super happy to have one already made and I hope to be able to create more this afternoon when we're back at the studio and i also took some focal points with me because that's another thing i found missing there i couldn't really find what to use as focal points i wanted to find some nice magazine images i probably didn't take enough time to look for them i'm going to take some tim holtz dolls and some birds that i have from vintage books maybe i'll do something with that i don't know maybe i'll have a sketch that i can add we'll see but i'm really looking forward to the museum visit because that's something i wouldn't do on my own i mean yes i would go to a museum but i would not take a sketchbook so they're kind of trying to put us in the situation where you actually have to create some art in a public space where people can watch you and i think that is super fun and something you probably wouldn't do on your own necessarily so that's really cool and it's of course great to see honey again it's almost like those what was it like three weeks that we've seen each other where we went to louise's place together it doesn't even seem like that was three weeks ago it seems like we had just said goodbye and now we're together again and i think that's really fun of course so i have 10 backgrounds now i think that's plenty. That'll be much more than I need, but at least now I have a bit of a choice. And I think I want to add some white splatters to some of these. So I half dried these now, and then I just dabbed over them with a kitchen towel. And now I have like these fun circles, which I think are awesome. Don't know how easy it will be to sketch on that, but I could also just use this as a background and collage over it. So I don't want to do that on all the pages, but maybe there's one more that I want to add some splatters to. I don't really like this page. Maybe splatters would help on that one. Yeah, let's just go for it. So hopefully I will be more productive this afternoon. And now I don't know, should I go back to sleep? It's now like 5.30, past 5.30. It is completely light out. I could sleep like another two hours, but I'm, I think I'm too awake for that. Okay, I think I'll, I need to let this dry now. And I think I'll see you next at the museum. So this is a few hours later, and this is our Heldenplatz, which is in the middle of the city and translates into Heroes Square. And the women you see there was our group waiting for the rest to arrive. And this is the entrance to the World Museum. And this is a really fun poster of our former Empress Elizabeth. And this is the inside of the World Museum, the courtyard in the center. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And here we have the studio again. So this is the afternoon of day two and you can see all of the artwork already on the desks. And here again, we have my spot 
and uh, this is where I left off the day before. I wasn't really happy with what I was doing. I kind of abandoned that page and started a new one. And here I was playing a little bit more with colors. I wanted to just try something else and everyone around me was working with brighter colors and that was kind of contagious. <laughs> so I tried that and <laughs> this is where things really start going south. So I used the stencil and I wanted to mirror the colors that I had on the left page with this stencil. Hated how that looked. Then I mixed some gold paint and I went over that to kind of try to create a shadow, which was even worse. I covered it up with some more gold paint, which made it look even worse. So then I used some good old gesso and covered that again with some like mustard yellow. Again, added some gesso over that because those spots just wouldn't disappear. And then I added some gold on top of that. Then I used some pieces that I found from some magazines and I abandoned the page because I was not happy until finally I went back to creating some more backgrounds in that journal because that was the only thing that I actually enjoyed and where I actually liked the results. So here I'm making a textured background and as you saw, I just added a whole bunch of papers in there. Christine came with some sweets. <laughs> this was one of my favorite sweets in German. They're called Schwedenbomben. And here I'm... <laughs> I'm using the stencil. Actually, this was a stencil that Honey gave me because she ordered two by mistake, so lucky me. And this turned out to be a pretty wild background. And here, as you can see, I'm making some holes and I will explain why that happened or how that happened a little later. But the effect was really, really cool. And I have Christine again to thank for that advice. It's the th morning of the third day of the festival. <laughs> As you can see here, I have something completely different again. Because last night, late last night, I just decided none of what I was doing before was working for me. And I just really wanted to make a small little booklet and have fun with it and enjoy adding colors. And I need to do something in this art journaling style rather than vintage junk journaling style. So I used some of my digitals that I had already printed out for test prints. So I'm happy I used some of those. And I use things that I have at home. And the interesting thing is I really enjoyed using these things now, especially now that I've seen all the other things. I know what I like. I know why I have the things I have, the <laughs> you know. So I want to give you a quick flip through of what I have made so far. This is obviously by far not finished, but I was working on this maybe in total like three hours. I was working on it until 1 a.m. last night. And I just did the sewing now because, you know, nothing was working for me. I wasn't happy with anything I was making. And I realized that the vintage junk journal style does not go with the environment that we have there, which is totally just in my mind and very, very interesting that that happened. I just couldn't find my creative mojo for that style in that environment. So super interesting. So this is an image from my boho bird kit <laughs> underneath is obviously some music paper i backed this up with some cardstock because obviously it's the cover i wanted it to be a little stronger i added this dyed piece of tablecloth as a closure and then i just used different papers that i've had a long time and have never used and never knew how to use and now I just enjoyed sticking things down. I have some fabric as well. And I'm loving this so much. This is from my fairy kit. This is a jelly print from Honey. And I just love all the sewing. I need the sewing. That's one thing that's missing there is a sewing machine. I needed the sewing to make it mine. This again, I've had and hoarded forever. Again, some fabric. This is from my boho kit again. This is some beautiful paper 
that I bought locally. So obviously I need to decorate a lot more on a lot of these pages, but still I think it's a great start. I think this is something I can work with there. I can easily finish it up there in that environment, but I needed this base, you know? This was a jelly print from me. These are my rustic papers. This one was from Froil Art. This is again for my boho birds. Boho birds, rustic papers underneath. This is my rustic fabric paper. I just love how these look in a, in a little journal, these papers. I'm so in love with that. I need to do that more. I've had this for a long time and I just love it right there. More of that rustic paper. I, I need to figure out what to do with this middle page. Again, this is from Honey. This is Digital Collage Club, one of the images. Underneath, again, is my rustic fabric paper. Jelly plate print. This is one of my little birds that I hand sketched. But this is a, this is a copy. This is a print from my shop. I don't remember where this is from. Again, my rustic paper, some more fabric. Jelly plate print. Again, one of my bird sketches. Again, this beautiful paper here, one of my paper backgrounds. This here is a mandala that I drew on my iPad and printed. Just a fun paper, German old postcard, another jelly plate print, and this is more of Honey's paper and that's the back side. Super fun. I love this so much. Now I'm excited to go into the studio and to continue working on it. This makes me super happy. Finally, I was really worried I was going to come out of that whole experience and not have anything that I'm happy with. So this feels like such a relief. I think I put myself under so much pressure that probably blocked me as well yesterday. So yesterday I had a very unproductive day, I would say. The museum was a really great experience because you don't put yourself in that situation usually, you know, to take a sketchbook and to sketch in public where people actually can see what you're doing. And especially when you don't feel like you have the skills. <laughs> it is really uh, quite a challenge. I just did it. I ended up not caring what anybody thought. Nobody talked to me, so that was good. And it was fairly dark, so that was good too. <laughs> And yeah, I didn't like any of the first sketches that I made, but then at the end I found some Chinese characters and I really liked that. Yeah, and then in the afternoon I had a huge, huge block. I took a long break and it still didn't help. I didn't feel inspired to do anything. I didn't like anything I was doing. I was very frustrated. And as you saw, I just went back to making some backgrounds, the ones that I liked doing in the morning. And then I found this stencil that Honey had given me and that was really cool. And that kind of inspired me to keep going. And then I wanted to add some texture paste, but there was none there. So Christine, one of the organizers, suggested, well, if you want texture, how about making some holes from the back and then having a bright color show through. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I did that with the all, you saw that, and put the pink underneath, which I usually would never do, but I tried other colors and pink was the only one that really popped underneath those holes. I didn't glue it down yet, so I'll decide today, but I think I will just glue that down. Maybe I will tear some of those pieces off and add them in here, actually, because what am I going to do with that separate page there? And maybe I'll even add some of the other backgrounds that I have on some of these pieces. And I also need some more focal points. So maybe I'll just do some stamping or something. I'll take some stamps with me today and just hopefully finally have fun and finish this baby up by tomorrow then. <laughs> so I'll see you once I get into the studio. So this is the morning of the third day and Christine gave us some great tips about how to use writing in your journal, not only as an element to convey your thoughts, but also just as a design element, which was really cool. So I played with the number 49 throughout my journal. And this is where very strange things start happening. As you can see, I have this piece of 
bright pink piece of paper. Here, there's more pink. It was incredible. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I needed bright colors in my journal. It was like there was a virus going around with this neon pink. Everybody was using it. I don't know what happened there. And then we were told to write 10 times, I am an artist. <laughs> this is just some scribbling as a design element. And this is the back cover of my journal where I wanted to add that Art Journal Festival sticker. And I made some black circles around it. And then I decided on the front, the birds need to be outlined in black because I needed more contrast. And you see those bright pink splatters. It was amazing. On the first day when I saw that bright pink, I banned that color from my desk. <laughs> And you see on the third day, I'm actually adding it to my cover along with this neon yellow <laughs> and adding more neon pink to various pages as well as the neon yellow. It is absolutely incredible what happened there. Then I decided I needed a lot more contrast on a lot of my pages. So I just went kind of crazy with colors. So here I used some bright orange to stamp one of my homemade tree stamps and with another foam stamp that I made myself. I added some quotes that I typed with that vintage typewriter. <laughs> yeah, saying like, who am I? And embrace change. And that is a self portrait that we each got. What does this one say? Discover yourself. Look at that bright color. It's just amazing. But look how happy I was. <laughs> and then I asked some of the other participants there whether I could film some of their artwork as well because it was absolutely fabulous and there was so much inspiration and so much creative energy there. It was just absolutely amazing and uh, yeah so you see their instagram handles you can go check them out they made such fun projects and this actually is the journal that inspired my little journal that you just saw uh, i just really loved the style of it so her name is petra she's from germany she might come to Vienna more often next year, so that would be fun to stay in contact. But look how cute and colorful that journal is. I really love it. I love the different sizes. I love the different papers she uses. So much fun. And she draws a lot of portraits, which are really amazing. It just made me happy and I couldn't get... Oh, look at this fun page. How cute is that? She actually also has a YouTube channel, which you can check out. I will link that for you below as well. Yeah, I fell in love with this and I just had to make one of my own. <laughs> she also has another journal that you will see here in a moment, which also has a super interesting cover where she used the spine of a vintage book as a starting point and it looks super interesting.
It's a couple days after the Art Journal Festival. I am back at home. I'm sad it's over. It was really an amazing experience. And I am still completely in shock at the change that happened in me concerning the colors I'm using. And as a proof, this is what I bought yesterday. That was the first thing I bought when the shops were open again after the weekend. <laughs> This is the one I had received in the workshop and I had to get these two in addition. <laughs> like what? <laughs> but they make me so happy. And I don't know if this is a phase. I don't know if I will continue to use these bright colors, but I know that this is something I need to do right now because they just brighten my day. This journal is not finished. It's not even bound yet. I have added a few more things since I've been back at home, just here and there, a few things. The issue with these colors is they need to air dry because when you dry them with your heat gun, they kind of shrivel up a bit and they dry nicer on their own. So that takes time. So that is not great for making a video. <laughs> I also stitched some parts with these amazing threads here <laughs> that were sponsored. When I saw these first, I thought I'm never going to use these. I need to find someone to gift them to. And I'm so happy I did not gift them because I so enjoy using them. And you will see some of the things I've done with them inside here. So I will give you a quick silent flip through of this. And please let me know in the comments below whether you would like to see me finish up this little journal together with you. Thank you again so much, Christine and Michelle, for this amazing art journal festival. It's a memory that I will treasure forever. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you is the idea came up that we should all put a word on a piece of collage fodder and make one scrap for each participant with that word and then put it in a cup and then each participant gets to take home this cup with all the words which was such a great idea and i think i will incorporate a few of these words into here as well so i hope you enjoy my silent flip through and uh, i hope to see you in the next video From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without Inside. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time
if you found a way out, come seek me.